We can act like we uh young hot teenagers again. You can see me through yeah. the window. Oh my god! <laughs> they know what the fuck's going on, man. I'm just telling what the hell's going on down there. I'm smelling the whole operation. I did. I jig it, I count it, I spin it The link be like pressure, get to me I'm smoking on gas, can you hear it? Go try to finish, we got plenty The dough super white like a cookie with something Aww, my baby's so sweet Got the whole operation going on So you're just taking a picture <laughs> <laughs> Fruit Daiquiris Subs Wings, salads, bay, park, water. National park. In State that order. Park. This is so surprising. This is my, my new house. We moved up this summer. And I can't wait. You gotta take over the tour because Kenny left. So, yeah, we're planning on moving into a new house this summer. Um, if not this one, we're gonna build it up from the ground up and create a whole new house. Um, this is really nice for us because we have a big family, so we need a big house. So this is different. I love house shopping. So what's up, y'all? We back. It's the Roy and Rain show. Yes. I'm Roy, and I'm Rain. And today we are bringing to y'all three topics. What topics do we have for you people today? Let's see. So, the first topic that we have for you guys today is, what did it say? Space theory, with a focus on astronauts. Aliens? No, astronauts. Aliens? Astronauts. Aliens. Astronauts, so, do you believe in it? I don't know, because I never been, so. I really don't know how to answer that question well, at all. I wish I could go though. But I, what would you go to school for if you were an astronaut? I don't know. Astronomy? But um boom. That's the stars and stuff. Okay, maybe. I, I was really being funny. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I believe in space, in the galaxy, but I don't believe in the whole astronauts going to space theory. And the reason why is because for anybody who knows, when the space shuttle launches, it takes a lot of gas and rocket power. It starts off really huge. It flies and as it's on its way to space, its space shuttle sheds and it becomes a very, very small spaceship. And then it lands on another planet or a moon. But what I'm saying is, once it lands there to these different planets and moons that they say have no oxygen or electricity, how are they getting back here? First of all, my first question is how do they get back? And that's my main question there. Is mm -hmm. they go, how do they get back? Like how do they and get it? How often back? do you think they go? I don't know. It seems like they never do, but every often, once in Maybe a while. Maybe we should research it more. I don't know, we probably should, yeah. Read some books and stuff. All right, all right so we're gonna roll into the next topic. How you feeling, babe? You got to out of my teeth. <laughs> you look full. I am. But I'm happy because the surprise date was a huge success. She had no idea where we was going. And when we got here, she was just smiling like a little kid at Christmas or something. <laughs> it was a huge success. I got it. We're at Sweetwater National State Park. The only national park in Georgia. The only in Georgia. Pandora playing in the background. Good food. So, I'm gonna do Mark a facial. Just got off from work. We had a long day. I did. He's on spring break, so.
I was gonna do that. You don't know how to relax. I thought you was gonna like coat it on there. I I wanted to, but you've just been too bratty. I'm not. I'm just saying. That's why I, I'm getting the mask on. Supposed to be relaxing and soothing. It's not supposed to be fast and rough. And you're not supposed to talk either. You're supposed to just let it happen. The mess where it all goes down. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, this is the spot. This is what we're gonna see. And it's on the corner. This is what a magic happens. This is what a magic gonna happen. Yeah, that's your little sofa. Yeah, I'm giving me a sofa. I'm giving me a little ottoman for my bed. Look, they got a big dog over here. Come on, do how you feeling? Really good, really good. Mom, no complaints. <laughs> Wait till I move in. She got these pillars in the room. Mm-hmm. It's like two rooms in one. Yeah. The other closet was bigger. The other closet was huge. The other closet was that whole. I was talking about that Which whole one? side. In that model house. In that model house. Oh, see, I still ain't even looking at the model house. We did. Okay, no, come on. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. We should put a whole door right here. And make this one oh, big yeah. room. Oh, I have a whole downstairs, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got that whole area over there. The hell of West Wing. <laughs> oh, we gotta get a stove. Oh, no, the stove over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we gotta get a refrigerator already. Why do you do that? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a thousand dollar lens. You can't put your hand on that like that. Five dollars. Oh, yeah, that's five. Do people want to buy with higher prices? Yes. Yeah. 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 Do people with higher position jobs take advantage or do they use it to an advantage? Hmm. I think it's both. Um, I think they use it to an advantage. Some people, they use their position to an advantage to empower others. I'm an African American, so like I know some other Black people who are, are have higher. Are you saying like like big like government no, official jobs no, or like no. just like any type of job, something? any job, but just a higher position in that okay. job? As I see, we didn't really discuss these topics. We just kind of freestyling, kept it rolling. So uh, yeah. I know some black people who uh, have higher positions and jobs and they use it to an advantage to help out or to empower other young black people to get them off the streets or not even black people, any race, to get them off the streets and, you know, into a job field to, you know, get some ducats in their pockets and to keep everything going ducats. or whatever the case may be. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah. I like that. All right, cool. People do use it to an advantage because everybody's had that dickhead boss. Yeah. Parting his French. No, everybody's had that kid boss who's just a straight jack and you just hate his guts because he's such a kid. Yeah, nobody wants that type of boss. But those bosses are out there and they just walk around with their chest out like they macho man and shit, you know, so and they like to step on other people's toes and step on someone's toes. Description. If you annoy or irritate someone by intervening in a situation that is their responsibility, you step on their toes. Think that they're higher than other people, so I think it can go either way. Like, you can use it to your advantage or you can take advantage of it. Hmm. So, for me, I feel like they do use their position as some type of power because I've been through that before working with other females, really, not even men. But females a lot lose use their position as some type of power or something. Anyway, yeah, I do think some people use their position as. That's why I feel. I don't know. Maybe God blesses some certain people to be in certain positions because if I would, if I would had a high position job, I would bring all the people, like Beyonce says, like formation will all be, like girls girl power like stick together no attitudes no drama just making the world a better place Quick daisies and sunshine and like can i get a timeout on the play you were part of the beehive uh, since i was like five 
I love Destiny Child, Destiny Fulfill. Oh, my mom, right, I grew get up. Back on top, let's get back on top. Let's get back on top. Uh, yeah, so I do think <laughs> a lot of people use their power. I mean, their job position as power. I don't know. Some people are really insecure, and having that position makes them feel like they're somebody mm -hmm. until they take the cape off and go home, and they're back in the home alone, and nobody wants to deal with their little stinky attitude. Prince, you gonna get up here with us? Mm -hmm. a lot of noise. You might as well show your Prince, face. Come here. Get you on camera, bro. All this noise you're making. Let's just get some camera time for you, Prince. Here's Prince, yeah. Princey, Princey, Princey. Look at the camera. Say hey to the camera, Prince. Okay. Our yeah. OD Give dog. him a little wave. Alright, he's grandpa. He's the oldest in the house. I like Prince. See you later, Prince. Alright, so. I guess we're gonna rule that one as people take advantage of their higher positions more than they use it for an advantage. I mean, look at the, what we're going through right now. I don't want to say no names, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get that. Okay. Well, like, Maybe my brother's wrong. We got the downstairs wrong. No, we do. Yep. Got the downstairs wrong. No sound. Damn, who car is that out there? Mommy. Oh, that's my car. Come right this way. I love it though. As long as it got the brown wood. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have wood. Sorry, Kenny. Not your room, bro. Actually, this is our room. Even my room at home is bigger than this. We we keeping that house too. Yeah, we're keeping that house. We're thinking about it. Well, we gonna be house owners, babe. Imagine at age 23. Look, we can act like we uh young, hot teenagers again. You can see me through yeah. the window. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Role play, right, babe? All right. And that's a wrap on our house tour. But then you went. Yeah, a lot of our work. Yeah, I'm glad we took one of those. Yeah, they got some cake there. Yeah, they have a grab Yeah, they have a grab Oh, are they good? Yeah. I ate them all. I ate my fruit. Shit. <laughs> Boy, that just almost killed my life. That would have been your camera just now. I'd have been my head. I would have dropped my head if I dropped that mama, camera. Mama rode in the car with y'all. She get scared? Oh, can I ride with y'all? Oh, this is what I was trying to do the other day. I couldn't do. I can do it. I was trying to tell y'all folks why we didn't valet. Can we do that? He's caught up by himself. I don't need no valet. 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 It's locked. I know. Why you starting? If it moves, looks like one of the Indians. This is actually really soothing, though.
Our third and final topic of the day. Drum roll, please. Is do politics and sports mix? Do people like to mix their sports with their politics? Um, this is a very, very, very easy question. It's so dear to his heart. Yes, I am a big sports fan, big athlete. Oh, you said like, do they mix yes or no, or do they mix like how? Like, do people when people watch sports when they're watching that football game or that basketball game or that baseball game or that soccer game or that hockey game or that golf tournament volleyball or yeah all the other little sports whatever and our activities whatever you call it all right so yeah volleyball is a sport but chili's not <clears throat> but anyway uh do people like for their play their favorite players or players on the team or players on any team to start bringing politics into the world of sports that's an easy question. No, I mean, they don't like it. No. No, hell no. It's a sticky situation. That's now, we talking politics? Question. Come talk to me right here. Not me. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a really, really easy question. Like, when people watch sports, like, you know, they're getting off of work, and, you know, they just in the zone. They want to see the game. They want to watch Sports Center. They don't want politics mixing with sports and players start being all political and stuff and bringing personal slash political issues into the sport world. You have to separate the two. They can't be combined. They both have to separate. Keep politics back there. Keep the sports right here. Okay. I don't agree with that because everybody watch sports. Not me. I guess I'm the only person on this planet who doesn't watch sports, but um, everybody watch sports enough. They're given a platform, why not get it out there? Why not, like, well, okay, some people probably don't watch the news or don't stay in tune to what's going on in the world, so why not put it in sports? But that's, they, they probably don't watch it for a reason. Everybody knows their local news station, everybody knows what CNN is at. Everybody can, everybody has access to some type of something to figure out something that's going on politically in the world. When you want politics, you go here for politics. When you want sports, you go here for sports. I don't want to go to sports and it's politics in it, you know? But I wouldn't mind going to politics and it's sports in it. But I don't want to go to sports and see politics. When I want to see politics, I'm going to focus on politics. When you start bringing politics into sports, that takes the whole fun out of it and it, it, you lose rates. That's what I think. Yep, I don't think on that one because I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't think. Well, there it is. Our big three for the day. Um, yeah. We'll keep dropping topic videos. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe, your baby daddy to subscribe, your grandma to subscribe, your auntie to subscribe, your ex to subscribe, your hate and play ass baby daddy to subscribe. Tell your, um, your, your, your daughter to subscribe too. And your son. Yeah, tell your son. Yeah, tell your son to subscribe. And your daughter. And their boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And everybody that you know. Yep. Your friends, your ex friends. Your little sister. You know, that hating bitch that you work with. Tell mm -hmm. her to subscribe to. Yeah. Tell everybody to subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all drop comments on more topics y'all would like us to um, cover. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all later. Birdman hands. Or Stevie J hands. How about cash Birdman. Talk hands? TVJ. How about Cash Talk Hands? Be on my. And we're going to cut it right there. We'll come right back to you guys. This is the Roy and Rain Show. I'm Roy. And I'm Rain. And we love y'all. So I just wanted to be on the corner. So That's tell what us I'm how you think. Go. So what do you think about this new house, Mom? Mm -hmm. I love it. Like, I know that I'm not going to move nowhere else. Well, I might move into a bigger mansion. Yeah. But this one we're definitely going to do for now. So what do you think the vibe you're going to get from this house, this area? Mm. The same thing. Peaceful. No, not the same thing. Peaceful. Quiet. It's going to be no way kids. better. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of kids around here, but it's going to be way better. And it's just better. I feel it already. Like, I feel like it's my home already. Yeah. I'm trying to be moving claiming. my stuff in right now. I am oh, claiming right. it in the name of Jesus. We play this back when we moving in, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, look, I, what I told you. It's mine already. It's for me. Look, it's for me. Me, me and Kid was looking at this house the other day. We was like, yeah, we like this house, but we thought it was sold.
and I wish you can see every detail. The finished outcome. A glowing skin. A softer touch. Kissable lips. Our homemade facial mask. And we have to say, you're glowing even before the light. Appreciate y'all for watching the Roy and Rain show where we're all kings and queens in our own domains. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Leave a like and comment about what you guys would like to see in future episodes and topics you would like to see us discuss. Peace.